Okay, well, let's, let's carve a spoon. And um, before we start, I'll just explain some of the equipment that I've prepared um, before we get going. So I always think it's really important, obviously, to stress safety. These are incredibly sharp tools. And whilst a lot of spoon carvers do, um, they, they will carve a spoon and hold it um, as they're working, I always try and promote the idea that the work is held very firmly and that you can use both hands to hold the tool. So both hands are out the way of the cutting edge. And this is going back to the significant six techniques, which you'll see um, in the description. Uh, there's a link for that below. So um, holding the tool in this way, in a fist position or a pinch position, both hands are on the tool. So we've got to find a way to hold this spoon in lots of different directions so it can be worked on and it stays nice and firm. And I've rigged up a little system to do that. Um, so I'll explain that now. So first of all, uh, we have our, let's remove our spoon. So first of all, I've just got a piece of timber. This is a piece of pine, which I've painted white. It just means that you can see the work a little bit more clearly. But this is important because as we're working, even if I dig into the, into the board, I'm not gonna damage my bench. It also means that you've got a bigger piece of timber to fix somewhere nice and, and firmly. I always prefer to stand when I'm working and the work is the same height as my elbow when I'm standing nice and tall. That stops me from bending over too much and hurting my back. But if you do prefer to sit down, you could have this board essentially on, on your knee. Um, it means that you've got a solid piece of something between this and your legs. <laughs> and, but also I've got a series of holes drilled in here and I'll show you what I've rigged up. So, so first of all, I have two pieces of cord. The first is just one length and in it I have done two loops. So let's put this here. There's two, two form two loops like that out of one piece of cord. The second piece is tied to a length of timber. Now I'm going to put my foot on that and you see how this is another loop but as I put my foot down obviously that's going to pull down. So when I thread this loop through that one this has a the, the first the one that's attached to the board has a slip knot on it so I can adjust the length and I'm gonna I'll put this through now so the cords fit through the hole in your board. Like that. And then essentially I can adjust that slip knot so that the, the, the pedal, if you like, is at an angle. And then when I put my foot on it, that's really locked in quite firmly. So I can adjust it, move it round, but at the same time, it's firm enough for me to be able to work on it with both hands and it's all, it just feels nice and secure and safe. So that's our little setup. Let's make a start to mark out our spoons. <laughs> 